In this video, I'm gonna be explaining what is and how to use the dependency column inside of monday.com. I'll be explaining how to set up the uh, dependency column and then how to connect it from one item to another. So based on an action that happens on one item, it will affect other items that are dependent on it. Welcome to the channel, my name is Nick. Thank you ever so much for giving this video a watch. Hopefully it will be of value to you. Just before we get into the video, if you are signing up to monday.com for the first time, it would be greatly appreciated if you could use my link below. It really does help the channel out. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So as you can see here, I'm logged on to our monday.com system and I'm on my example board where I'm gonna be explaining, demonstrating what it is, how to use the uh, dependency column inside of monday.com. So firstly, let me briefly explain what the dependency column is and hopefully as I explain how to set it up, it will make even more sense. But essentially what we can do is we can create a dependency between items. And what this allows us to do is when a date or timeline column changes inside of monday.com for a particular item, we can then automatically update other items that are dependent on that particular item. So let me give you a use case or an example. Let's say you are managing a project and there are lots of different tasks or events that need to be completed for that particular project. And obviously you're managing them through all of the different items. So for each task, you want to have a different item. When a project either gets brought forward or let's say when an item gets brought forward or delayed, there is gonna be a knock-on effect for all of the other events or tasks that need to be completed. And you're gonna be having to go through each of these different items and updating the times and the dates accordingly. But when you have a dependency column set up, essentially we can automate that process. So if you've got loads and loads of different tasks and events that need to be completed and then something changes, you don't then have to go through and update all of the times and dates again and again and again, which inevitably is gonna happen with a project. So what it allows us to do is just save a lot of time and automatically update the information as is. So firstly, let's go ahead and add the dependency column. So if we go to the add column button, then go to more columns, and then I would just search in the top left-hand corner, dependency. Go ahead and press add to board, and then we're gonna be presented with a pop-up screen just like this, set up dependencies between uh, items. Now, like I said, when I was explaining the dependency, um, dependency column, we have to have either a time column or a timeline column. So if you've already got that on your board, just use the drop down menu and select which date or timeline column you'd like to associate with this particular dependency column. If you have not, go ahead and press create new column. You can add either a timeline or a date column. It's really, really simple. I'm just gonna use a date column for this example. So go ahead and just press add to board. So I've created a new date column and I'm gonna connect the dependency column to the date column, so this particular date column. Now bear in mind, you might have loads of different date columns on your um, on your board, so just make sure you're connecting the right date column with the dependency column, okay? So once you're happy, just go ahead and press connect columns. As you can see, I'm just gonna drag this across, sorry, so it makes a bit more sense in my head, but we've got the date column here, and then we have got the dependent on column. So now we've created them, we can then look at creating dependencies between the different items. So firstly, what I'm actually gonna do is just add some dummy dates in. So let's say 18th, which is this Wednesday, and then I'm gonna use the, um, the test one item that we have down here, and I'm just gonna say the 25th. So we've got two dates added to um, our board. We've got this item, which is May the 18th, Wednesday the 18th, and then we've got May the 25th, 25th which is the Wednesday after now what we want to do is we want to create the dependency so I want to um, select this uh, particular item here and make it dependent on this item so whenever this changes I want this to change as well so that's really really simple as you can see here we've got our dependent on column just go ahead and select the one you'd like to make it dependent on and then select it and then you'd have to choose from the list. So obviously you've got all of the different groups and all of the items in each of the groups. You can go ahead at the top here and search if needs be, but you can go ahead once you've found it and just tick it. And now you can see that this particular item is now dependent on our test item up the top here. Now, this actually isn't gonna mean much at the moment, okay? The reason being we now need to go ahead and create the automation. 
And we what that essentially means is we need to tell the system what's going to happen now that there is a dependency. So if you go to automate up the top right hand corner here, and then on the left hand side, we've actually got a dependencies area. Now you can customize and customize your heart's content and make your own um, unique or custom um, automations based on dependencies, but monday.com has kindly provided some additional ones or just some template ones that we can get started with. So let me walk you through a few of these. So for example, when a status changes to something, change the status of its dependencies to something. So let's say we had a status column on our board. If I change the status of one fit or of the item, then anything that has the anything that is dependent on that item would consequently change as well. And we can select what the status changes to based on the something. So when a status changes to something and we can set those somethings. Hopefully that makes sense. It is really simple. And I do suggest just having a, a test try it yourself it's not it's not difficult at all we've also got a few others so adjust the date of an item to reflect the changes made in the date of its dependency item so we can set that up if we'd like to we can ensure that the date of an item always starts after the date of its dependency item we can ensure that this date in the item always starts after this other date so you can get really clever with it and like i said you can create your own automations and then you can select adjust this date to reflect the changes made in this other date of the same item. So we can create that automation as well if we like. So I'm gonna use this one just as, an, as our example. These are obviously the templates. I've said a few times now you can create your own, but I'm gonna go for adjust the date of an item to reflect the changes made in the date of its dependency item. So that is the kind of the most basic uh, in, from my experience, the most common use case is just updating dates and the status as well. You can also have both if you'd like to. There's no reason why you can't. So if I go ahead and press add to board and then using the automation, it's very, very simple. Go ahead and select the date column. So obviously that's the column that we created when we created the dependency column. And then you just need to select the dependency column as well. So that's the dependent on column we created. Once you're happy, just press the add to board button. Now this, as you can see, is clearly live, it is on. So if we exit out of this, so now if I go ahead and change the date of this item, this date then should obviously change because this particular item is dependent on this item. So if I go ahead and change this to the 25th, I'm now hoping after a moment or two, the uh, monday.com automation is a little bit slow, that as you can see, it is now changed and it has replicated the amount of time the date has changed for the first one. So I changed this by seven days. So I went from the 18th to the 25th, and this is now updated from the 25th to the 1st. Now, if I go ahead and replicate that again, and let's say I just add it by six days, then this should again automate and should update. And what we can then do is build out, and as you can see, it has done. So you can see June the 7th, so that is six days later. Or, or actually, in fact, it's seven days later, but you see what I'm getting at. It's, uh, it's, it's updated to the Tuesday, so it's essentially just replicated exactly what I did on the item it's dependent on. Now from here, we can go ahead and create new groups, or we can just build this out more and more and more. So let's say we go ahead and add this date for this particular uh, item. This is again, just an, another example. Let's set this to July the 14th, just as an example, and then select the dependent on as being the same item. If I go ahead and make changes, so let's say I move this to June 2nd, both of these should now update and that automation will run. And as you can see here, those items have now updated, the dates have now changed. So obviously the automation does take a little bit longer the more uh, items are dependent on. And I'm sure if you're familiar with automation within monday.com, you know that the more automations you have running, the longer things can take. Honestly, they can take minutes. Um, to update and it doesn't mean it's not happening it's just because it can be a little bit slow sometimes so that is dependent on that is the dependency column inside of monday.com like i said if you go to automation if we go to the automation center and then to dependencies you've got the template options here you can um, obviously test these out and of course you can go ahead and create your own automation as well i can't really cover that in this video but hopefully you're familiar with what the dependency column inside of monday.com can help you achieve um, I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you in a moment's time.
Hopefully you are now all set to begin using the dependency column inside of monday.com and any item that is dependent on another item will be directly affected by its changes. Hopefully you have enjoyed the video or found it at all useful. If you have, it would be greatly appreciated if you drop the video a like, possibly even subscribing. If you have any further questions at all, you're more than welcome to drop a comment below or you can email me as my details are in the description below and I will do my best to answer any questions you do have. Thank you ever so much for watching and I will hopefully see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.